She told me a story about when she first went to school. She was six years old. She was the oldest of all the children in her family. I asked her what it was like. She didn't talk about it much. She told me her grandparents used to go visit her. I asked her if her mother would. She said no. I always wonder what it was like for my grandmother having to send her firstborn to the school. I think about being a mom and having to drop off your six-year-old in this foreign place, this brick building. The first school she went to was Anglican. It was located on the reserve where my mother grew up. She told me that my grandfather converted them to Catholic because they were starving and the Anglicans didn't have a lot of money. So he converted them to Catholic so she could go to another residential school. The Catholics had more money. She told me they still starved, but they had more food. She told me about the times when they would sneak out of the dorm and go into the kitchen to steal food because they were starving. She told me she ran away twice. Once by herself and the second time with her sister. She told me it was winter time. She told me She always tried to be positive about her experience in that school, in that brick building. I asked her, if it was so good, what were you running from? She told me she wanted to be free
She just wanted to run and be free. It wasn't that she was running away from something, it was what she was running to. She told me her grandparents used to go visit her. I asked her, did Cookham go visit you? She told me, not often. I think about how hard that must have been for my Cookham to leave her child in that place. She said when her grandmother and grandfather would come visit, that the old lady would bring a blanket for her and one for them. They had to visit with a fence in between them. They weren't allowed physical contact. Now I understand why my grandmother didn't go visit her. She said they would sit and have bannock and tea and visit with this fence in between them. I asked her what it was like to be there. She told me she hated the smell. It smelled like disinfectant and bleach. She told me they didn't learn a lot there. She told me the majority of their day was cleaning and maintaining that building, that brick building. She told me the thing she missed most about home was the smell. I think about that smell. It would have smelled like wood stove burning poplar. She told me that her grandmother would throw her sweater over the fence and she would wrap it around her body and just smell the sweater. She told me the thing she missed most about home was that smell. She told me